All right, let's talk about using Lando and making Drupal 8 core contributions today. So first, talk about some documentation that will help you out with Lando in this process. So the first site I'd like to mention is docs.devwithlando.io. So if you don't have Lando, head over here, click on installing and get that installed and that'll get you going. If you've already got that, that's great. We're going to base this video on this uh, Hook42 blog post by Kristen Pohl, so thank you very much for writing that post, it's a fantastic post. And what we're going to do is just walk you through the, the Lando part of this so you can get set up for uh, Drupal 8 core contribution. Uh, and this post is an excellent post, I might recommend you read that either independently or in conjunction with this video. And, um, and then the Drupal.org, um, so all projects on drupal.org so you know path auto you would go to project slash path auto but drupal itself is also a project on drupal.org so if you go to drupal.org slash project slash drupal uh, there's the drupal project and if you go to version control here you can uh, download the source code and what we're going to do is download that using git so we're going to download the latest, so you can select this to whatever version of Drupal. But if you're doing core contribution, you want to select the latest at this time, that's 8.6.x. And then you get this clone command. So here's what we're going to talk about over here on the right. Here's our uh, outline for this video, and these are the steps to uh, implement this. All right, so you're going to want to head over to your terminal. And... <clears throat> Navigate to a place where you like to store source code. Sometimes that's your sites directory, but whatever works for you is perfectly fine. And now we're going to uh, clone down the Drupal code base. So we're going to copy this command right here, which is just a version of that command I showed you from Drupal.org. The uh, main difference being that we're going to uh, specify a directory at the end there. So you see the um, D8 core, which is going to create that in a directory, and we're specifying the branch that we want to get, which is 8.6.x, and we're going to uh, clone down that branch. All right, so you hit enter on that command, and that's going to clone it into the D8 core directory. Great, that's done downloading. So let's uh, move into that directory. So we've got a Drupal 8 core here. You can see that we're on the 8.6.x branch, which is great. If you do an ls, you see we have a normal Drupal code base here. And now we're going to initialize the application for Lando, so Lando init. And that's going to prompt you for some questions. Of course, we're going to choose Drupal 8 here. Uh, the web root is going to be dot, because it's just it's not nested. It's just right where we are. What do we want to call this app? Let's call it uh, v8 core. Great, we're initialized. So what that does is uh, Lando init creates this um, Lando.yaml file, which is our configuration file for this app, um, and just stores the answers to those questions so that Lando knows how to operate this app. Now we're going to start up. And that's gonna, Lando's based on Docker, so that's gonna spin up all the containers that we need to uh, work with a Drupal app. So if you know about Docker and containerization, you can leverage that. If you don't know anything about it, all you need to know is Lando start, and you don't need to worry about it. But the good thing about the Dockerization or the containerization is that it isolates the applications from each other and from your local operating system. So if you upgrade your operating system, you're not gonna break your development environment, and if you're in development on one application and you do something strange, uh, it won't affect your other applications. So completely independent stacks, you can have PHP 5.6 on one stack, PHP 7.2 on another, so very convenient. And as we mentioned before, you can you know use the, that flexibility to change out your, your PHP versions or MySQL versions to, to test certain patches. Right now you see it downloading Drush, now we've got a URL so we can visit that. Um, we're going to do a composer install so that we can get our Drupal 8 dependencies. And you can use composer on your local machine, but Lando provides a composer 
for PHP applications. Mm -hmm. So if you just do Vando without any arguments, you see some of the things that are available to you. One is Composer, DB Export, DB Import, Drupal Console, Drush, um, Command Line PHP. So we're going to leverage Composer right now and do Vando Composer install. Get those uh, PHP dependencies going. Great. All done with the Composer install. And what that does is pull in the third party PHP libraries. As you know, Drupal 8 uh, based on Symfony Core now. So what we get is this vendor directory. So when we refresh our file tree, we see all these uh, PHP dependencies that Composer pulled in for us. And we need that. When you install from uh, source code from the Git tree, you need that Composer command to pull in those dependencies. All right, fantastic. Let's take a look at Lando info and see what that gets us, which is information about the application. It will give us several pieces of information, uh, part of which is the database credentials. So we'll use those to install Lando. So you see it tells us some URLs that are available for the application, and here's the database information. Um, so for a Drupal 8 application, the database user is Drupal 8, the password is Drupal 8, and the database name is Drupal 8. The um, external port is uh, 32849 here. But what we're going to use is these credentials in order to use a, a Drush command to install it. So okay, in order to use uh, Drush, let's get a site local copy of that, and we'll use Composer to do that. So we'll do Vando Composer uh, Require Drush, Drush, and that will get us a site local copy of Drush uh, that we can use to uh, install the Drupal site. Great, now we've got a uh, local site local Drush installed, so we can um, utilize that. And then you see we have Drush 9.3.0, fantastic. So now we can issue this uh, site install command to install the Drupal site. You can uh, just as easily uh, navigate to the URL and install through the GUI. Uh, this can be a little quicker. So we'll just utilize this, get rid of these spaces. So what we have here is a database string. So we're gonna use MySQL. Uh, database name is Drupal 8. Database password is Drupal 8 and the database uh, host is database because Lando is inside containers um, so the database is hosted in a container called database and then the database name is Drupal 8 and that's the information that we got from Lando info so this will take a second to go through the installation process of Drupal so it's saying you know, we're gonna if there's an existing database in there you're gonna remove the information so it might be a concern but this is completely fresh so we don't have to worry about that Great, so Drush site install uh, tells you what the username and password are going to be. You can also specify those on the command line with the site install command if you want. You can copy that or you can always log into your site using Drush ULI to get a one-time login. All of those methods are fine. Now we're ready to go to our site. So I'm going to go to the Lando info command so I can grab the URL. And at this point, we're basically ready to contribute. So we have a Drupal site installed. Uh, it's inside Lando. Um, and you can pick up with Christian's blog post at step three, where you can figure out, find a patch that you want to test or write. Um, we have to accept our cert because it's a self-signed certification for the HTTPS. So there's no trouble in accepting that. It's just a local Lando site inside your Docker containers. And we're ready to pick up with Christian's blog post down at step three. Reproduce your issue inside your local Drupal site uh, she has great information here about applying the patches and you're at this point on your way you're winning and you're ready to contribute and there's our Drupal site and of course we can uh, log into it and do our testing thanks for watching uh, have happy contributing to Drupal